What's up guys? We did it. We're in Japan. Japan! Finally here. We've been wanting to come here forever. Since I was a child. Yep, and we finally made it here. We got in late last night, and today is our first day here. We're gonna be here for the next three weeks, starting in Tokyo, then to Hokone, Kyoto, Osaka, Hiroshima, and back to Tokyo. So it's gonna be an amazing three-week trip. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, for more travel content to come. It's honestly so nice just walking through here. It's a really nice change from the city. You know, it's a good way to like kind of get away, get in touch with nature again, and you just hear all these birds chirping and everything. It's so nice. Peace. What'd you wish for, Sophie? Got my wish in here. I'm putting it inside my elbow. And I gotta put some money in it. A little monetary offering. Yeah. So we just finished up a major Jingu. Pretty cool. Uh, really nice kind of being around uh, all the really cool traditional uh, temple Buddhist type stuff. But we are ready to go into the city. We're going to Harajuku now and we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. shopping. <laughs> Big fan of the, uh, the cauliflower on it? Yeah, with all the fruits and veggies. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's looking for a skirt. I want my skirt at home. And I love that all their skirts have shorts in them. Now we just gotta see if it uh, fits over my tripping hips. All right, somebody's gonna get a little capsule for me. I'm gonna get this one. The cat's stealing the fish. He's got a little wheel under. So whenever you pull him back, he runs forward. There's no sign between either that or the cat baller. Cat baller? I don't know, I think I like the... This uh, one's got motion, we'll do I this like one. this one. All right, here we go. So these over here are 400 yen total, which Stephen will tell you uh, how much that is. And then here we go. Uh -huh. It's like two something, two dollars and something. Oh, oh, what do we get? Let's slide up. Yeah, it's the main guy! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> He's got wheels. <laughs> so we decided to get a little little takoyaki in Harajuku. First bite and it's probably gonna be lava. How is it? Oh my fun. There you are. So guess where we are? We're in the otter cafe. I've always seen otters from afar, but now I'm gonna get to hold them and they're gonna get to 
crawl all over me and stuff. I'm so excited. Just got out of the otter encounter thing. So much fun! It's so freaking cute and it's so soft. Your little, your little tootsie toes. Yeah, they're they're definitely much softer than you would expect. Like when you pet them, they're so soft. And they're super energetic, super playful, really cool experience. It was uh, like 11, 12 bucks per person. Yeah, for about 25 minutes. Yeah. Glad they didn't check our backpacks because we got one. We're taking home with us. Strawberries from Strawberry Finish. First one. Oh, oh it's hard? It's hard. I got a candy. So, is it not like strawberry texture at all? So, the outside is like a hard candy, but like very delicate enough where it just cracks. So, it's like glass. And then the inside is like perfectly soft, normal strawberry. And these are really ripe, so it's like extra sweet. It's really, really good. I'm gonna eat this. All the way up. Oh yeah. The outside is just like the candy syrup type of uh, flavor. But then the inside is just like a regular strawberry. The strawberry is extremely ripe. It's really good. And it's only 650 yen, so like $2 and change. Not bad at all. We just finished having dinner here at this udon noodle shop. Really great soup. Only 14 US dollars and it includes green tea. Really great meal after a long day walking around in Tokyo. So now we're just walking around Shibuya, visiting a couple shops, just exploring. We made it. My inner child is screaming. Nintendo store.
better. I didn't know there was a Capcom store in here. Look at Monster Hunter! So I got Magikarp and Hunter. Steven got Gengar and Cubone. Oh yeah. So we're gonna put them on our cups at home. Oh yeah. The purchase of the day. <laughs> it's worth the matcha Tokyo, pure matcha salted ice cream. Wow. <laughs> wow. And it good. Like pure matcha. I think we need another. It's really strong. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good stuff. Oh, good. It's pure matcha. We get a matcha daifuku. Is it like a mochi? Mochi ice cream thing? Mochi ice cream in the middle. Mochi We got some craft cola, Iyoshi cola. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take a swig. Whoa. It's like peppery, like a peppered Coke. Interesting. Lemony. Peppered lemon Coke. Interesting. It's good. Holy <laughs> cow, that's good. With like a hint. A very small hint of like licorice. It's like lemon peppered licorice coke. It's delicious. But look at the bag, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. You can see the little pepper flakes on the top. Yeah. Honestly, you pass the craziest things whenever you're just walking down the street. You gotta stop in all of them. So lame. <laughs> We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Aww. Aww. The chicken nuggets. I gotta eat. I'm starving. <laughs> it's kind of nasty looking. It kind of is. That's why I love it. <laughs> Not today. Sad face. I need a slow poke. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, 
so we're now making our way to Shibuya. Shibuya. Trying to get to Shibuya Crossing, see what it's like Shibuya. for the very first time. Resident Evil. Resident is Evil. about to start <laughs> as soon as we walk in there. Yeah. The breakout's happening. Are you ready for the crossing? Ready for the crossing. <laughs> it's crazy here. There's so many people. There's like 14 different directions and like people aren't just going straight this way or straight that way. Everybody's They're all intersecting all and all going all over the place. It's it's chaotic, but it's organized chaos. I <laughs> don't So we're having a second dinner at McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> at uh, don't leave that time. <laughs> All right, guys. Finally got back to the room. We brought our McDonald's back. <laughs> About to show you that in a second. But we've been out all day. Finally back in the room, and uh, we are tired. Long day of walking around. We probably hit probably twenty five thousand steps or so. But I also just realized I didn't get to show you the room. Well, this is the room here. <laughs> Not really much, a whole lot to see. Just the bed. Um, actually, I can show you the bathroom. Hello, hall. Part of the mess. But we got a little, little hall here and the bathroom. Got the tub, little sink, toilet. And it's got the whole bidet functionality that is really useful. We are staying at Hotel Sunroot Plaza Shinjuku. Really nice room, really nice hotel. It was about maybe a little more than a hundred bucks a night. So really not bad, especially since it's so close to Shinjuku station. So it's like maybe a one minute, two minute walk and it's downstairs is a, um, a 7-Eleven. So really convenient spot to, uh, to post up at. Meanwhile. I got the, uh... The 10.30 p.m. munchies. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a fry and a spicy chicken sandwich. <laughs> I'll open that right now. Interested to see if it is oh, like the whoa. chicken sandwich back home. We got some spicy sauce. I think it's just a regular chicken sandwich and then they put it, a spicy like, a little, buffalo. Looking yeah, thing. so a little bit different, but does it taste the same or similar? Good, but spicy. Well, I you think I it in. well, you ate the fries. How are the fries? Oh, fries are exactly the same. Yeah, I would imagine so. Exactly the same. I'm, I'm sure the chicken is a, is a little bit different, though. Fry. Mm hmm. Pretty much the same. Exactly the same. I'll rub that sauce on there a little. There we go. Yeah, it's Pretty good. For ten thirty, it's pretty decent. We're gonna share it. You're gonna eat this too. You're of course. Suffer. You're gonna suffer. All right, guys. First day in Japan, in the books. See you guys tomorrow. We're going straight for the onigiri. Pick a plum, spicy pollock roll, spicy kelp soy sauce, red salmon, salt, red salmon, salt. Wanna do spicy pollock roll? What do you want, Stephen? Tuna mayo or salmon roll and soy sauce? Uh, I'll do uh, red salmon and salt. Red salmon and salt? You don't want, what was this one? Salmon roll? That sounds, good. That sounds good too, though. Or you want the red salmon and salt? I'm both. <laughs> you want both? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Stephen's a big boy. <laughs> All these ready foods available to be heated up. Oh. We got 
got some like small Actually, roll sushi rolls available. That's kind of cool. Do you like kimchi and sesame oil? It's really good. So we had a late start to this morning, mm -hmm. but we're getting a quick breakfast so we can get our day on. Spicy quick stop at 7-Eleven. If you don't know, 7-Eleven here is a completely different beast. It's not, it's not even the same store, honestly. Here, like, they have really high quality stuff and so many different snacks. Like Onigiri. I mean, something like this, you can't even really get back home without going to like a specialty shop. And this is so cheap. It's only like a couple dollars for a few of these. Uh oh, I you're littering. No. <laughs> Same in row. Never mind. <laughs> so yeah, pretty late start this morning, but now we are out and about. And our first destination is Sensoji Temple. It's about 40 minutes away from here. So we have a little bit of a hike. And now I'm gonna take you through Shinjuku Station. And I'm just going along for the ride. <laughs> It's like a, it's kind of a sesame, sesame thing, but it's powder. Really mm. It smells really sweet. It tastes sweet. It's like mochi. Yeah, like a it's chewy really kind of chewy. rice consistency. Mm -hmm. And what else and we awesome. get? Matcha. Matcha drink. Matcha drink. Refreshing for this hot day today. Oh, that's very good. Not sweet or anything, it's just like... Matcha flavor. Matcha flavor. It's very good. Especially on a hot day. It's really quite, quite flavorful. A nice, like, sweet treat. It's like peanut butter. Yeah. You mix that with this. Very nice and refreshing. Also in this area, they're very strict about not eating or drinking while walking around. You have to stay near the food vendor to eat or drink whatever you just bought. So walking throughout this place, I'm just gonna see food and I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna buy and eat it. So I don't know what this is, but it's kind of like, a, it smells like a pancake. It smells very sweet. It's hot, temperature-wise. I'm just gonna dig right in. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a pancake. What is that inside? So it's like um, the red bean. Oh, red, red bean, bean. okay. It's really good. Oh. So this is delicate sweet. I know like the Japanese aren't, they love sweet stuff, but they don't, it's not like America, but they literally just like, douse everything in sugar. It's like a very mild sweet, but it's just enough. Yep. So good. All right, we're gonna try our first savory dango. We've been having sweet dangos, and now time for a savory one. It's a soy sauce flavored dango. Soy sauce flavored. Nice. So this one was grilled, and you can taste like the grill, like grill marks and grill burns. But this one is really good, like barbecuey. It's kind of melon. It's like a melon soda, but it hasn't been mixed yet. But I'm excited. It looks very sweet. What's the uh, what's the soda? Did you try it? Melon soda. Ooh, that's delicious. Very melony. It's like the melon. Uh, those, 
All right, so we are trying out this big Taiwanese spicy fried chicken. Yeah, we have a spicy version. It's essentially just like a powder, like a spicy powder that's sprayed on top. I'm gonna take a bite. And it's really, really hot and burns my fingers. But, uh, no one. Oh, it's really hot. It's really, really good. Mm. And the spicy powder, it hits in the back of your throat. Mm, that's good. It tastes like a um, spicy ramen, actually. The flavors on the ramen at home, but really good. Mm. It's really nice and tender, crispy. It's really the uh, kind of thin, so it's easy to, to chew. And Sophie's right, that's flavoring on the spice. It kind of tastes like a ramen you find, like a spicy ramen flavor. Mm. It's a mighty fine chicken. <laughs> so there's the flavoring on the bottom. It's citron peppercorn. So when you it gets hits your tongue, it totally numbs it. But it's so good. Uh-huh. He wants my chicken. All right, so part of this temple, what you gotta do is you give a little, uh, give a little yen, and you'll get a little stick. And the stick you pull out is associated with a certain fortune, and you can read that fortune and take it home with you. But if it's a bad one, you gotta tie it to the rack. So let's see what I get. After reading this a little bit more carefully, it's a half fortune, so it's like, you're gonna get what you want in life, but it's gonna be late. Whatever. <laughs> you get a stick? Yeah, I gotta match what it up because I have no idea what that says. <laughs> Oh no. You have a two. Two. You have a two. He's a urban. Wow. Yes, baby. <laughs> 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 oh man, I got a bad fortune. So you gotta tie it to the rack to yeah. leave the bad fortune here. Yeah, please don't follow me home. <laughs> Everybody's smelling the incense, so maybe it's a thing to do. Think so. Really good? <laughs> Okay, so we're finally leaving the Sasoji Temple area. Now we're making our way just around Asakusa, but I see something ahead. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping and cruising at Don Quixote. Yes,
So we didn't actually get anything from Don Quixote. I think we're gonna wait till the end of our trip so we don't have our suitcases full of stuff when we're walking around and traveling to different places. But now we're on our way to Akihabara. So we just got to a main cafe in Akihabara. It's, uh, it's been something so far. It's a very high energy, very uh, high happiness, like artificial happiness. So you're gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah, it's just so much energy. <laughs> I love it. So they charge you like six bucks or so per person just to be here mm -hmm. per hour, and then after that you gotta buy uh, a drink or some a meal, some dessert, something you know, <laughs> while you're here. And then uh, they have other add-ons like you can pay and take a picture with them, and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. <laughs> So we got some takoyaki and we got an omo rice with the uh, hand drawn cat. It's a kitty cat. <laughs> 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 got matcha pancake. Looks delicious. So in order to get the pancake, he has to do that. Yeah, they make you say something before uh, before you eat. <laughs> So we just finished up at the main cafe. What an experience. Super high energy in there. Love it. They hey, performed a couple of songs. Uh, you have to pay to take a picture with them. Uh, you can order drinks, uh, alcoholic or just like soda. You can order uh, french fries, uh, takoyaki, you can order curry, so a couple of different things that you can order in there. Overall, I had a good time. It ended up being about 25 bucks a person or 50 bucks total. Uh, and it was quite fun, quite an experience. <laughs> Oh. She's dedicated. I'm dedicated. You know what? I'm just gonna go to the store and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> she has a gambling addiction. All right, so we finally won something. On the first try. Oh, I'm so good at these games where you do the cut. Yes, it's all about the eye, and I got the eye. Now I need to get my first eye. Oh my god. I finally, finally got, got it. it. <laughs> There's a hurtful body. Wow. Can't believe it. All I wanted was something from Only the took machines. about how many tries? I'm going to talk about all the other machines. Those stole my life. But this one, you can legitimately win. One try, got it. 
We are back at the hotel. What a day. Between Asakusa and Akihabara, we are wiped. See you guys tomorrow. All right guys, day three in Tokyo. We're wanting to get some breakfast. We're trying to get some dim sum. So we're on the hunt for that. Feed me. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, that dim sum really hit the spot. Hit the spot. Yeah. But now we're gonna explore Shinjuku today and just go around and do some shopping. Happy bellies. Let's go. Look at what this kid did. Look at what he turned. Look at what he did. I was so careful too, <laughs> but I got soy sauce on my shirt. Alright, so since we were only like a minute away from the hotel, uh, from dim sum, I ended up changing missing. my shirt. The stain is missing. I can't have the stain all day. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I've learned is that Japan loves their arcades. They love these claw machine games. Everywhere you go, you can see them anywhere. Any city you go, we've seen probably like 20 of them. And we've been each one and they're just always packed. I mean, this right here is like a little alleyway, so it's kind of secretive, but overall, it's super popular here. Look at him. He's mocking me. They have them on the outside this time, so you can touch it. I'll get you slow poke. We got our booth. All right, you guys, we made it to Kira Sushi. Super excited to be here. I've seen a ton of vlogs on this place uh, on YouTube, and I'm super excited to come here. And you have to wait about an hour and a half or so, maybe two hours, to actually get a table. But now that we're here, let's dig in. So you can grab sushi off the conveyor belt, but you can also order from this little iPad thing we have here. So I see a lot of the stuff is kind of taken, so I might order some stuff on the screen here. All right, so I see some wild minced Pacific bluefin tuna. That sounds good, so I'll, I'll order one of those. Your order's heard. You know the cool part about this is that it's only literally less than a dollar for some of these sushi plates. I mean, it's obviously only like two pieces of nigiri, but mm, less than a dollar. That's insane. All right, so we got our tuna that we ordered. Just, it has a little uh, extra conveyor belt up top, so. Let's see. I have no idea what it is, but it looks good to me. One thing they have is they actually have matcha powder on the side, so you can just make it up a little, a little green tea. Cover that back up real quick. And we got a little hot water on the side here. I got a little powder in there. Stir up my tea. I got some tea on the side. Awesome. It's good. Feast down in front of us. We grabbed a couple of things from the conveyor belt and we ordered a couple of things, so let's dig in. Sounds good. Wow. Super fresh. This tuna, so fresh. So good. Here we go. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they're sending me a soup. Oh, oh, they had it covered. That's how they're gonna do it. Makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Let's take out the soup. Whoa. 
Whoa. Oh, that smells so good. That's gonna be really homey. That's gonna hit the spot. That looks like it's gonna be real homey. Man, even the shrimp tempura udon noodles, it's so good, it's so flavorful, and the shrimp is really fresh as well. And it's only like two something, 250 maybe? What a deal. The last piece of sushi. <laughs> what was your last piece? Was it a salmon? It was a salmon. And some ginger. So we got 23 plates. You got the job. So on average, that means if each plate had about two pieces of sushi, mm -hmm. we had 46 pieces of sushi. I guess we were hungry. Alright, so now that you're done with your plates, you go into this little bit over here. You slide your empty plates in, into your slot below. Kind of fun, obviously. And another. And another. And a, a few moments later. And the last baby plate. Alright, so we just finished eating, so time to check out. Let's see what the damage is. So the total amount. So we finished putting all the plates in. So it's finished calculating. 4,362 yen. That brings it to $29. For 46 pieces of sushi, plus the soup, plus hot tea, that's a steal. Can't believe it. Not bad at all. Alright, so yesterday was a bit of an exploration day, didn't have much on the itinerary, but today we're starting things off with a pretty fun activity. Like, it's just like a big pillow. It's kind of warm. So what did you think of it, Toby? I loved it. The flower from my favorite. Maybe you could just lay down and just watch the flower universe falling around you. So, so pretty. My favorite.
I think my favorite was probably the light experience, all the lights hanging down. Definitely the most Instagrammable spot. Um, I just like the music they play with it and all the different colored lights they have. So we ended up spending about an hour in there, and I think that's really all you need. I would recommend you come here as early as possible. We had the 9 to 9.30 slot, and uh, I think that was a perfect time because now people are waking up, and now they're all showing up here at 11 o'clock. Also, this exhibit is only 25 bucks a person, so I think it's well worth it. All right, so now that we're done with Team Lab, we're going to make our way to the Tsukiji Outer Market for some food. Woo! For those of you wondering, my shirt intentionally says potato. <laughs> We got a beef and potato croquettes, and then we got some loin skewers. Japanese Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef. About 150 or so for the croquette, and then 13 bucks for the skewer. Yeah. Here we go. First bite. It's like a potato, like a mashed potatoes on the inside. <laughs> With some beef. That's good. Exactly how I imagined it would taste. And here we have the beautiful, it's all like glistening and straight off the I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Right, here you go, first one. Mmm. Mm. The fat just melts. Oh, I got some sauce. It's kind of like a, kind of like a A1 steak sauce. No. They said it's a soy sauce based. It doesn't taste anything like a one steak sauce. Soy sauce based uh, More soy sauce. steak sauce. But it smells like it. It smells like Coca Cola. <laughs> but you take a bite, it's like soy sauce. It's good though. Very good. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, this is the A1 steak sauce that he's talking about. <laughs> Bro, it smells like it, but it does not taste like it. I do have some rub done in this. I'm going to go in on it. Oh, wow. It's good, right? It's so tender. And that fat that was grilled, that just like kind of melted your mouth. That Wagyu has got a good amount of fat in it, so it's so tender and juicy. Wow, it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. So then on to the next skewer adventure. We got some scallops off the grill. Oh, oh, I love scallops. Scallops are one of my favorites. And what is that thing there? <laughs> um, this, my friend, is an eel. A triple eel skewer that I'm going to take a bite of, and then students can eat the rest. <laughs> so the scalp was about two fifty, and then the eel on the grill was about six fifty ish. So not bad. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. You got a nice marinade on it. Slightly sweet, smoky from the grill. It's really good. Mm -hmm. All right, it's eel time for me. Mm. Oh yeah. They got that kind of eel sauce on it. Once again, kind of sweet, smoky, and it it's uh, has the consistency of like white fish. So it's really soft and buttery. So good. Look what I bought. I bought a fossilized shrimp. <laughs> so we waited probably like 25 minutes at least for this, and they have a long line. And we finally got it. And we bought some uh, shrimp with uh, in insulation. <laughs> it's like old drywall. Drywall. <laughs> but it's essentially like this 
it's like a cracker that they make with the shrimp inside, and they use like a lot of pressure to make it like really flat and cracker-like. All right, my turn to eat the shrimp drywall. Have you seen a few? It's for making it. You have to do is to get your money. Oh, ah. I'm surprised because actually the white part, even the white part has a lot of flavor. Definitely tastes like a shrimp chip. Six dollars and thirty cents. Not bad. Got to the actual shrimp. It is still shelly. Like I'm chewing on the shell pretty much. But it's flavorful. Alright, to finish things off. We got some ice cream. I got white peach. Steven got matcha. Yummy. Oh wow. There's chunks of peach in it. That's really peachy. Oh, I love this. Really refreshing. except make it Japanese, <laughs> literally. I mean, it looks just like it. So inside they actually have some shopping, there's a food court, and you can pay, I think, seven or eight bucks to go up to the top. But I think the view's better from below than up top, right? If you're up top, you can actually see the tower. So, we're good down here. 
All right, guys, today's our last morning in Tokyo. But don't worry, we're gonna be back towards the later end of our trip. After this, we're going to Nokone, Kyoto, Osaka, Hiroshima, and then all the way back here to Tokyo. All right, I'm doing Steven's job now. Make sure to like, subscribe for more content to come. Wow! <laughs> Japan has been a dream for us, and we're super excited that we're gonna be here for the next two weeks. All right, we got a bullet train to catch. See you guys in Nokone. for 46 pieces of sushi, that ain't bad. Oh, plus soup. So, not bad at all. Plus tea, not bad at all. <laughs> so, so overall, not, not bad, bad at all. <laughs> also, they make it very, very... <laughs> Wait, is this a Jansport commercial? <laughs> doing Steven's job this time. So make sure to like, hit that subscribe button. What? Yeah. Baby girl love my bop and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through.